happy to give the floor to Etidal. Um, and uh, I hope we will have the presentation of how you track the money, which is very impressive. And um, so please, um, I'm uh, always very interested by, by your work. And the technology and the technology that uh, you use since the first time I have a chance to visit your uh, center. So please, uh, you have the floor. Nohal Fadel, please. Correct. Uh, so I would like to thank all the uh, participants here today. Uh, my name is Noor Al Fadel. I am a forensic linguist at the Digital and Analysis Department. Uh, today's presentation is about uh, Tidal's techniques on monitoring and observing and uh, analyzing the uh, 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 online funding behavior uh, of uh, terrorist organizations. Uh, first, allow me to mention the reason behind establishing the center. The center was established on uh, May 2017 after the Islamic American Summit here in Riyadh. The reason behind establishing the center was that there was a global and international concern about terrorism and violence, which are the symptoms and the aftermath of the problem where uh, there is a, a lack of attention to the root cause of the problem of them, which is extremism. Here in the center, we are mainly focused on uh, managing the uh, root cause of the problem, which is extremism in this case. Uh, Tidal's focus on the next three to five years is mainly on religious narratives. After that, we are going to move to other and different issues and narratives such as uh, ethical and ethnic uh, narratives. What you see here is the workflow of the uh, organization as a whole. Um, you see on the down left side, the three main pivots, the digital pivot, the ideological pivot, and the media pivot. First, it starts with the digital pivot. We have uh, more than uh, 200 employees that are well-trained and capable of monitoring and documenting a radical content online uh, on all of their uh, forms, whether they are visual, auditory, and textual. And after that, uh, the content is sent to the ideological pivot to document, uh, to dismantle, uh, do in-depth analysis, refute, and do counter messaging, and then to send it to the last pivot, which is the media pivot, to do dissimulation and publication. So first for the uh, digital pivot, we have built a database uh, since uh, 2017 uh, for, from mainly open sources uh, that, uh, that we have uh, tackled uh, 39 extremist uh, organizations and uh, 26 uh, or 28 uh, media centers. And we have collected all kinds of uh, publications that they have. And this is very important for us because that will lead us to uh, uh, introduce our theory, uh, our uh, theory in, in, in understanding how they fund their, uh, themselves uh, online. So we have audio, uh, visual, and textual content from all different extremist uh, groups. And those contents are, uh, content are also um, uh, managed uh, uh, to, to, to see or to understand the uh, integrity and uh, uh, behind these uh, uh, publications. And we can uh, we use uh, uh, very advanced techniques to uh, uh, identify the uh, speakers, whether in their uh, uh, visual or uh, sound, and um, uh, we use also machine learning uh, techniques uh, that will help us to understand uh, uh, all the details in these publications. After that, it goes to the uh, uh, ideological pivot, 
to understand the extremist rhetoric and methods. And this is the most important point uh, uh, for the uh, ideological pivot is to understand their methods. And then we report about uh, their methods to the uh, uh, um, concerned uh, uh, entities if they want to do uh, certain actions about uh, that. And one of the publications of uh, uh, the ideological pivot is the uh, study uh, digital uh, jihadist on the left uh, side picture, if you can see it. And this is what we uh, will tackle today uh, in our uh, uh, theory that we will introduce. And then for the media and outreach, they actually have uh, uh, techniques to uh, send their messages. Uh, they uh, do audience uh, segmentation uh, based on gender and, and age and uh, other factors. They create messages uh, 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 with, the, with the right content, and then they push the message into the right uh, platforms. One of the cases uh, that they have done uh, uh, in the media pivot, uh, they have uh, received a file from the digital uh, department, a report from a digital department about the um, uh, online games that are uh, present in the uh, summertime and are targeting uh, the younger generation. And one of them is called al Difa al Muqaddas. It was created by Hezbollah. And the media uh, was proactive to do uh, some uh, uh, publications and push it to the right audience to aware them about the dangers of uh, 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 the online games. The question here is how does those, uh, or how do those organizations or terrorist organizations uh, have money or collect money to create those tools to uh, build the games? And how do they have the money to uh, keep updating those games. We will tackle this in the next uh, slide. So about the study that we have uh, talked about before, the digital jihadist, it's a theoretical observation of terrorist online behavior. So uh, there, were, there are ways of uh, having funds or receiving funds uh, 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 from the past time and uh, the current time. The past time, traditional way uh, of funding, they have to have direct communication with the person. They have to be at the same place to give and receive money. And they were collecting uh, in-kind, uh, physical uh, uh, donations, uh, the cat, and they were uh, actually can do some robbery to especially in the African Sahel uh, countries. The uh, uh, negative uh, points uh, about this, that it was a slow collection and the ease of tracking and detection was high uh, with this old technique. Nowadays, uh, we have uh, noticed that they are uh, change or they change their uh, um, funding techniques into a modern and digital uh, technique, which doesn't use in kind um, means. And uh, you can have a virtual uh, presence, not actual presence. And uh, you can have indirect communication. And uh, this is a hierarchical, uh, because it's an indirect communication, it's a hierarchical complex relationship between the leader and the uh, followers and the sympathetic audience. And we need to differentiate between the followers and sympathetic audience, followers who follow and do the actions of the leaders, sympathetic audience uh, would actually uh, uh, help and, and, and be sympathetic with, with those cases. Uh, so what we have found out is that the uh, recent uh, 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 way of uh, uh, collecting or, or funding, sorry, uh, 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 money is, uh, or having money is through using e-commerce, electronic commerce. So uh, all, uh, extremist or terrorist organizations would have to offer things to receive funding for it. So what we have found out is that they offer intellectual property uh, acquisition or piracy. For example, they uh, crack some uh, uh, programs and they use it 
and they uh, uh, sell it to other people with, uh, with uh, uh, fake licenses. And this is how they uh, uh, rotate the, uh, the uh, digital um, uses. The other thing is to uh, show prohibited or banned uh, publications which are uh, include or which include uh, uh, blood or murder uh, videos, they can get uh, money or receive uh, fundings uh, on their websites when they show those uh, uh, kind of content. So the uh, how they get money, they get money or uh, funding through uh, online uh, banking. So we have created a, a theory of uh, uh, what we, which we call the cycle of terrorism financing. It starts first with the extremist product that they have. They have, uh, they create a website. They show the statements of the leaders in the website, the articles that they uh, publish, the newspapers such as the Neba newspaper uh, that's by, run by Daesh. And they also show uh, audio uh, publications Example here is ISIS news site. I would show you that this is um, this is ISIS news site. It contains all the uh, previous information. And and uh, previously they have uh, used a, a private system to uh, go log into the uh, website. And and you can see that there are different links to those websites because everyone when everyone shuts. Uh, they open a new one. And after a phase, they started uh, a public website. So everyone now can uh, come and view their content. And you can see also ev when every time uh, the, uh, one link shuts, another link is open. Now the current uh, and the recent website uh, is this one, and uh, it was recently uh, shut too. If you can see the, uh, uh, the diagram here, you can see from the left side, uh, the previous uh, 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 links, they had a small number of viewers. And every time they open a new link, they get higher and higher viewers into their websites. And if, if you have higher viewers into your website, you would have higher chances <coughs> of them, sorry. <coughs> would have higher chances of them donating uh, uh, to your uh, website. So this is um, a, a page of donation that is found in the same uh, newspaper. They actually are act asking uh, people to do don or to make donations through uh, cryptocurrencies, uh, bitcoins and whatever, uh, uh, exchanging uh, currencies to a bitcoins and then making the uh, uh, donations. They ask uh, the people to donate uh, uh, to uh, keep the website going. Uh, this is the reason for them. And they assure people that it is a safe way and um, that, it is, uh, that you are gonna be anonymous and no one is gonna uh, know you. So, Going back to the uh, cycle of uh, terrorism funding. So after they um, have their extremist content, they do a field uh, terrorist operation. The field terrorist operation are reported into the normal media uh, uh, news outlet, but they are not going to be showing the graphic or a non-ethical content. They are going to show uh, the, the uh, normal a content that is uh, going to be produced on TV. But where is the graphic and non-ethical content? If you can see on the other, uh, 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 other um, step is the extremist product, videos and audios of blood, murder, killing, and everything that is not uh, uh, available uh, uh, for public is available in their website. So they attract more viewers to see and watch the uh, uh, harms uh, uh, in their website. And more viewers, that means more uh, donations that they have, so they would do a, the field terrorist uh, operation again. So uh, that's uh, that for uh, our presentation. I am glad to answer all your questions.
Yeah, I'm, 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 a, I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed because I wanted to see the way you are tracking um, the uh, vocal messages to the uh, to written messages and also your big room with all the media because I think it's it's really interesting. But your presentation was just fine and and really interesting. But I think that we have to work uh, more on it because when when you see the part um, uh, you had the slide in the beginning. Um, uh, I mean the third, maybe the third one of, of with all the messages. Uh, it was really interesting, but then the way you show uh, how they collect money is also um, um, really uh, um, uh, extremely interesting. And I hope that we will have uh, an opportunity to visit your center again and, uh, and see the way you are tracking the, the messages because uh, uh, the way that um, uh, you are doing and then the, the big room with all the screens is... Yeah. So impressive that uh, I, I'm, I'm really a little bit disappointed that uh, in the presentation you didn't show us uh, technically, uh, you know, the big map uh, with yeah. all the the link because you know that is something which uh, uh, you cannot forget. So um, um, next time we will put an additional. But it was just perfect. If you if you have a way to to uh, find. Um, the amount. Uh, do you have an estimation of the amount of money which is uh, going through uh, this e-commerce fake license, which was really interesting, or Bitcoin? You, you is your center in uh, capacity to have an to have an estimation of that? Yeah, uh, for for the estimation, we don't have the right estimation. What we focus here is on uh, analyzing and observing their techniques and methods. Uh, rather than uh, uh, the amount that is being transferred between them. Uh, we are sure that is, is not very, uh, we, can, we cannot assure that if, if it's very high or, or low, but what we are sure of is uh, the techniques and uh, method that they are using uh, out of our, <laughs> yes, this is the globe of uh, Tidal. <laughs> and myself. <laughs> I have the same that the President Trump. That's very nice. So sorry to interrupt you. Could, could you give us your presentation? Uh, would you be able to send it sure. to us with a, sure. uh, as much details as possible regarding financing of terrorism? Not only the presentation, but also all the documents you can have. And uh, I, I just will give the floor to Tracfin. Uh, Mr. Uh, Monsieur Lelon, vous avez uh, la parole. Et, et ensuite, s'il y a des questions, on prendra un, un lot de, de questions juste après. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, um, Nora, you. for your presentation. It was really very useful.